Hey everybody, Hank B here with Josh, Josh D. D. And we are our Two Cents, Cents Media. Media. So uh, we're coming in today a little late uh, with our Mandalorian review. Um, somebody did not have a voice um, yeah. uh, when it's the episode cold. came out. And uh, it was not feeling well, but he's better mm. now. We're a couple days late and we're hoping the next episode we actually will get out on time for Wednesday. Of course... Spoiler alert, um, we will be talking about stuff, but it's been a couple of days, so a lot of people have seen the episodes. Uh, so, this is what I believe... Spoiler alert. <laughs> yes, I believe this is what, episode four for the season? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's start off with your impressions. Um, I mean, it was cool that she made Groku a little buckler armor for his belly. Uh, I thought it was going to be like a little buckler for like his arm or something, but it, was, it just looked like a buckler for his giant green belly. Um, and the scene of where the, the kid with the, the toy-looking helmet gets abducted, and it took them too long in my opinion, to go save him. Because at this point, it's like, okay, they formed this hunting party, and they're like, oh, okay, and then we'll camp out right here and go up there tomorrow morning. And it's like, yeah, he did. He did. He no. I agree. He, he should have been and, dead. That, that kid yeah. should have been dead. And then they get to the top, and then they don't see him. There's another helmet there. And then the thing barfs him up. It's like, bleh, bleh. And well, I mean, that's accurate out. for birds. Yeah, but, I mean, there's stomach acid in there, and then big birds like that probably have a, uh, man, what is that? The gizzard probably has, like, a super gizzard or something like that. That kid probably would have been mulch, but he came out fine, still breathing, like, there's oxygen in there. And, like, how long has he been in that belly? Good question. Good question. That's if he was in the belly. He might have been in, like, a stork's uh, pouch or something. Uh, it must have been a pretty oxygenated stork pouch. Yeah. But um, unless, I mean, his helmet has, like, the oxygen abilities that the Mando does when he went to the other planet. Um, but I, I just think the rescue took too long. And, of course, like, the Mandalorian situation, what was that, episode one or two? Where the little crab guy was about to kill him? Yeah. I believe I was two. People, the Mandalorian, he's about to die as soon as she's back. The boy, he's about to die as soon as they're all back. And, like, it just, he, 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 no, no, no. I don't like it. Yeah, I, I, like I'll they're, agree they're with they're you. Making, this is the, the episode, like, this, this season is mostly damsels in distress. Yeah, this was definitely, to me, felt like a filler episode. Like, it was, like, fucking pointless. Um, if this thing is always attacking them and they never can track it down, why don't they have fucking guards? Why don't they have lookouts? That makes no sense that they don't have lookouts knowing full well that this creature is going to attack them. And then none of them have ships. How is it that none of them have ships? There should be a ship or two around, but we never see any of them. They're just waiting for Tom, Dick, or Harry to show up to give them a freaking ride. Makes no sense. <laughs> It's like, yeah. I, I mean, there were a couple cool parts, like the, the Grogu playing with the rocks. I thought that was hilarious. Um, the rocks moving. He's like, what the? What, what the? I, I thought you he know, was like, that was using cool. the force. <laughs> yeah, no. I it's... thought he was using the force and playing with him, and then it pops up as a crab. I was like, oh. <laughs> I totally expected him to eat one of them, and I don't think they got there. You know, I think he was probably going, was going to next. For it. Yeah. I did, but like, and I, it was cool kind of seeing a little bit more into the society, like where the guys like, no, you're the hunt leader, so you get the fire. We're all gonna split. Like they kind of explain the eating thing, and you see more of, I think the the evolution of Bo Katan. Like again, where she's getting back to the roots of the old school Mandalorians, and I think that's gonna evolve her further, better. But overall, the episode, I was not impressed. I thought it was really a downer. I, I It was a filler. I, it was just there to... Like, the one with the scientist guy was more entertaining, I feel, than this one. At least it had something where you're, like, trying to figure out mentally. Instead of just, like, hey, the kid should be dead by now, but we're going to go and hunt it down, like, three days later. I know it wasn't three days, but I'm exaggerating to prove a point. 
But yeah, I'm I'm kind of not really I was not on board with this week's episode. Yeah, I mean it it's to me it's like there's lazy writing. It was like it was the Mandalorian scene where he's captured by the crab all over again, but with the giant yeah. stork and the kid. So I mean, they, they have three little birds now to take care of, or three big little. Birds, I mean, they but, could be dragon riders of whatever fucking planet they're on, but well, now okay. they don't need spaceships. Now they got. Yeah, birds. I guess not. Now they got sentries. Once they're grown up, I guess I don't know. But okay, yeah. so mm-hmm. on the centimeter, what would you rate this episode? It's like a five point five. I mean, it was interesting. It was short. Uh, it was interesting to see kind of like a little bit of the back history on um, Baby Grogu and the Jedi that saved him that played Jar Jar Binks, I guess. Yep, that was the cameo. The, the, I remember I yeah. mentioned there was a cameo. We forgot to talk about that. Yeah, the uh, they talked about the redemption of the Jar Jar Binks actor because he got to play a Jedi in this, which in hindsight, he actually did an awesome job and trolls should have left him alone for the job he did as Jar Jar Binks. So, but yeah, so... Well, kind of with you. I'm I'm giving it only a, a nickel. Um, I I just was not impressed with the episode. I was bored by it. There was a couple of minor things that was interesting, but I, and all in all, I think like hopefully this is the bottom part of the season, and we're just going to go up because it just felt like it's this is like a freaking road to nowhere. Yeah, I feel like they're cheating us on the episode times too, because I mean. Ep- uh, season one and two, their episodes would run like 45, 48 minutes. I think a couple of them that were in the, like the high 30 minutes, but these are like 24 minutes, 34 minutes. It's like, it's, I am not entertained. I am not. These are not the episodes we're looking for. <laughs> these well, are not that's the episodes I'm looking for. Well, that was our two cents on the episode. Feel free to let us know your two cents on the episode, and you know, like maybe we'll talk about it later on. Uh, we're planning on doing an end season. Once the whole season's done, we're going to do a complete wrap up, and we might even do a do cents on the whole season three. But uh, let us know what you think. Happen. 